Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're actually going to be visiting Saturn so we haven't actually done a video about, or about Saturn or anything to do with Saturn in quite a while so I thought we'd like bring it back because um, if you didn't know the Cassini probe is almost finished its mission it is going to crash into Saturn very very soon so I will have a video on that out when it does eventually happen so yeah rip rip Cassini I guess but yeah so what I want to do a video on today is I am um, recently um found out that they have discovered some weird object and I don't typically know what it is in the rings of Saturn so it's a tiny little object about five I think it's at five kilometers so it'd be a very very small asteroid sort of object so it's in the rings of Saturn somewhere so it's gonna be somewhere here where it's just quickly delete that so I believe it was a British astronomer or so, uh, I think it was a British person I can't know if, I don't know if they're an astronomer or not but I believe they were trying to or get a picture of this object here, Prometheus here, but they caught something else in the rings that wasn't this. They, they found something else in the rings, so we're going to go in ahead and add a bit more rings to Saturn just so we can see a little bit more of the rings. So yeah, there we go, that, that's good enough. So yeah, we've got plenty of rings now. So they found another object in the rings somewhere, so we're going to go ahead and add a random, you know, add a random asteroid in here somewhere. I'll put it, I don't know, there maybe? That was all bit that's really hard to get it lined up with the um, rings of Saturn here but yes we've got this weird object here so need to quickly fix that so oh damn it right let me just quickly put it in the rings properly and I'll be right back with you so yeah give me a sec all right guys so I'm now back I've got it all in the rings correctly so it's orbit now is completely in the rings which is exactly what we want so now we've got this object here so we're going to rename it and it's going to be called Peggy so it's spelled like P-E-G-G-Y like that. So yeah, like I said, it was found by a British astronomer, I believe. Um, so we're going to see, or we're going to theorise why this could be here. Because I, um, I heard about it, and there's a lot of different theories of why it could be. So, yeah, it's first of all, to start off, they believe it could be, or I don't know, it's hard to explain, because I only found about this movie recently. But yeah, this, apparently this, there's multiple theories, like I said, but yeah, this could be a comet which has got trapped here, because I believe there's been a collision with this object recently that made it split in two or something like that so we're going to pull it down to about five kilometers in radius oh no 2.5 since it's five in about a five in diameter i believe so, so yeah, something around this size so it's completely in the rings of saturn so you can't really spot it but cassini managed to spot something a little bigger than the size of the other rings so if you look here the radius of these rings or like the main little objects in the rings are only three centimeters but this guy is 2.5 kilometers or kilometers however you want to say it and they're only centimeters so there's a massive difference here so they managed to spot this a lot larger object in the rings of saturn just sticking out while trying to look for another moon so yeah, this was recently discovered and it's pretty interesting because there's so many theories like i said so it could either be a trap comet or they believe it could have been a moon which was torn up by saturn's gravity so Renee, you got you guys remember Rouge limit so remember what when you put a object too close to a big object for instance so we'll just use mercury when we speed this up poor old mercury is going to get torn up because it was too close to saturn so let's just let this speed up and hopefully mercury should get torn apart at some point please mercury you should be getting torn apart what is this is it going down what the heck Mercury, what are you doing? Why is it not dying? Surely it should be. Okay, maybe, maybe to put it a little closer actually to Saturn. So let's quickly pause this. Let's put it a little closer. So yeah, how about that? You like that? Come on, die. Okay, seriously now. Come get a little, get a little closer so Saturn tears you up. Okay, I don't know what's up with tidal forces in the game. They seem to be a little broken, but yeah. Just pretend Saturn is tearing this object up a lot. Actually, we can sort of do it manually, actually. If we go to tools here, we can explode it. So, yeah. So it could have been a moon that got too close to Saturn. And the fact is, or it could have just formed around Saturn too close. And Saturn's gravity tore it apart. It also could have been a... Um, yeah, go. So now the Mercury's dead, and it would have shot out a bunch of fragments. And one of the, and one of the fragments from this object could have been Peggy here. So, yeah, it could have been a captured planet which Saturn destroyed a very very long time ago. Could be a trap comet. And there's also theories that it could be a destroyed moon as well. Like I like I literally just said there, it could have been a collision that happened between two moons that formed the rings of Saturn. And this guy just happens to be a little bigger. 
or I, I think it could have been just torn up by Rouge Limit though. So very, it's interesting. But yeah, I believe also recently that this object actually collided with another object. So I believe it would have collided and it would have got smaller as well. So if we quickly put this to five kilometers here. Yeah, and then many apologies if I'm saying these facts wrong, but I generally don't know on this one. So yeah, I believe um, the object Peggy actually collided with something else or it got torn apart or something a bit more recently. So there was another object created called Peggy 2, like that. So, yeah, apparently this guy somehow got broken apart. So I, I believe that it was going around the rings and it hit another moon in the same orbit space. Because, you know, like, we could do it out here. Like, if we put another Titan in the orbit of Titan, they would collide with each other, for instance. And then that would cause fragments. So, what, or what I believe we think is, is that Peggy here collided with maybe just one of the small little objects in the rings of Saturn here and obviously that would have created fragments and then the Peggy 2 which came out or which could be from it let's make it a little smaller it probably is a little smaller than that so 0 0.4 yeah a little fragment that came out of it this could be a different um, object which was created from a collision so yeah something like this maybe maybe it's orbiting Peggy maybe it isn't I, I don't even know in this one because yeah like I said I've never I've never heard of this object till very recently so yeah, it's um, pretty, pretty weird, honestly. But if you guys obviously want to research it more for yourselves, feel free. Just search on Google, like, Peggy, and then just put Saturn after it. And you should be able to find some information on this. Because, yeah, this this isn't easy to explain. Like, I've got um, some information I found. Yeah, it is not easy. But, yeah, it was discovered quite a while back, I believe. But it's, it's very weird. And also, apparently this object is large enough um, to actually... What's it actually be able to cause a mark in Saturn's rings? Like, you guys remember when you um, when you put a large object in the rings of Saturn? So, for instance, just Mercury. If we put Mercury in the rings of Saturn here and hit play, because Mercury is so large, it would start to change the shape of the rings and make a big gap in the middle of them. I believe that, or what it's saying is, is that this guy could actually cause little ruptures in the ring systems, make like little gaps and holes, because this object's obviously a lot bigger than a lot of the other objects in the asteroid belt, or, or the asteroid field here. So this guy could actually be creating slight, like, little mini holes in the rings of Saturn, which are making, or making it appear as if something's going on there. It's very, very weird. Like, let's just bring up a whole new... Let's just quickly save this so we don't lose it. So we'll just call it. We'll just call it Peggy. It's a very weird name, I believe. I, I believe it's um, the wife of the astronomer who found it. I want to say. I don't know for sure. So if we just go into a whole new simulation here. So we'll go here. We'll get. Let's just use a Jupiter. And then we'll just put some rings around it like that. So like there we go. So pretend this is Saturn and its rings, for instance. Now what we want to do is pretend that. that this moon, let's just use, uh, let's just use Venus. So pretend Venus is Peggy. So if we put Venus in there, it's going to start causing like a rupture in the orbits of these, or it's going to make like a big hole or gap in, or a bigger gap in these rings here. Yeah, this, this is not easy to explain. Wow. So if we just get this on, uh, let's go to solid dark grey or solid black actually and also guys while I'm thinking about it I may be doing a live shoot tomorrow so stay tuned for that probably around 6 or 7 p.m. United Kingdom time England time however you want to call it so yeah keep that in mind if you want to tune into the stream we'll be doing anyone's ideas pretty much so if you guys got an idea then feel free to um, comment it when the stream is on and we should have some good stuff so yeah now we've got plenty of rings we've got Venus here so this Venus should start to create a gap in the rings here so as you can see it's sucking in objects here so maybe that's what Peggy did maybe it um, started to or maybe it made a little gap by pulling in nearby objects maybe it's very weird yeah but if we speed this up we can eventually start to see that if we look here for instance we'll take off all of this you can see it there is like a gap there can you see like around this side here so if we just go into free mode here, so around here there's no sort of ruptures or any mess in the rings. But if we go to where Venus has been, you can see it's sort of made like a line in the rings. Peggy has made like a tiny little like a tiny little um, one of these in the rings of Saturn because it's like I said, it's slightly bigger than the other objects. Now I know Venus is a lot bigger, but I'm just doing this as an easier example. So as you can see, it's making a big trail in the rings. Peggy is doing that, but on a much much smaller scale, we think, and that is why it's so. 
or why it was spotted because it's just one big object and then there's not really many smaller objects around since it's the bigger one but like I said it's very very hard to explain like I really like say I don't know what I'm talking about it you're correct like I generally don't really know on this one because this is just really weird because it could be anything it could be a captured comet a destroyed moon and it's a fragment of a destroyed moon from Rouge Limit so we could do that right now hopefully it will work this time so put Venus too close to Jupiter here Hopefully Jupiter's tidal forces will just tear it apart. Yeah, there we go. So if we speed it up there. Wow, did you just hear that sound effect? That is new. Whoa, let's listen to that. I have never heard that before. That's cool. I, I did not know that existed. That's so cool. I did not know that sound effect was in the game. Yeah, but as you can see here, Venus is shooting out fragments like this. So maybe one of these fragments, obviously because it would have been a larger fragment than most of the rings of Saturn, maybe a large fragment was tossed out from an object that got too close to Saturn here. So Venus, or Venus on this um, case here, so I'm just using Jupiter. So object got too close to the main planet, which is obviously which is Saturn. And then obviously it got torn up, as we can see here. And obviously one of the fragments from this could have been thrown out into the ring system, which... And, that fragment was larger than the rings or the normal size of the rings here. So obviously these guys are over in centimeters. These guys are centimeters. So an object a few kilometers was shot out, and obviously that's a lot bigger than these centimeter objects. So it will make a difference in the rings because it's got a lot more mass and size as well. So yeah, it's very very interesting, very very complicated. Like it's not really the easiest find and also because no one truly knows what it is and it's also like the same thing with the theory of Saturn's rings we still don't know 100% what actually caused the rings of Saturn but I generally think it's probably just a torn up planet from Rouge Limit or it's the two moons that collided or the moon that got too close to Saturn or something like that it's it's very very interesting and there's a lot a lot of theories about it but yeah that is that so if we go back to our simulation of Saturn here where is it um oh, where, where is it at uh, God, where is it? I saved it, didn't I? Um, oh, there it is, Peggy. All right, so if we go back to Peggy here, so yeah, we've got Saturn again. So here's Peggy. So this could literally just be an object which is being tossed out from an object that was torn up. So remember on that instance. So yeah, we could put a random moon there. The moon got destroyed. A fragment was tossed out, and that fragment could be Peggy. And that's why it's bigger than all the other moon or all of the other little asteroids in this um, ring system because it was actually made from a, or it was it's what's left of a big object. If I hope that makes sense, guys. I'm still not the best at explaining stuff. I'm not too sure on myself, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you all understood that because it's not definitely not the easiest thing. This isn't any um, sort of like beginners sort of thing you would do. So yeah, I guess that's that. This is more like professional stuff. I don't know if I class myself as a professional, but I think I'd class myself at least close, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, enough of that messing around. So, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, and tell me, what theories do you have on this weird object here? And if you want more facts on this, just Google it. Google Peggy, and then just put Saturn in after pe the word Peggy, and you should find some interesting stuff on it, because, yeah, I really don't know of this. It may make me sound dumb, but trust me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dumb. I, I'm quite good at my astronomy, but, yeah, this guy... Even even the scientists don't know what it truly is and stuff like that. So yeah, you can't really blame me for being bad with this one, can you? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, guys. Um. Yeah. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe as well if you um, are new. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Probably not the um, best video I've ever made because we didn't really do too much. But, but before we end, and also guys, remember live stream could be coming out or I could be doing a live stream tomorrow. So stay tuned. But I just want to listen to that Rouge Limit sound again because that was a new sound effect I've never heard before so let's let's just get okay let's use the Sun on this one so let's put the Sun there and now let's put a Jupiter close to the Sun and we're gonna slow this down we're gonna listen to the sound effect because it sounds very weird so we're gonna put Jupiter or pause it as well so we'll put Jupiter very very close to the Sun here so there we go now the Sun so we're in for a few minutes here so I'm not going to talk when I hit play, but as soon as I hit play, we're going to go ahead and hopefully listen to this new sound effect again, because that was cool. I've never heard that before. So let's go and hit play right now, and I will be quiet. So ready and go. Um, where's the sound effect? It played before. Um, that was anticlimactic. Wait, well, let's just try it with a... um. 
Let's try with a rocky object this time. So we'll just use Jupiter again, and we'll do Venus. So the same circumstance as last time. So we're going to do that, like this. And then we're going to do it. So slow down, hit play. Listen. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if you guys heard that, but I definitely did. So yeah, that did play a sound effect. So let's go ahead and let's spam rocky planets around here. Let's see if we can hear it again. So I'll be quiet again. Oh, we've got a Nuster, Nuster, I can never pronounce this one, but this guy, we always get him. It's always this randomly generated name. So can we hear it? Oh yeah, listen to that. That is so cool. That sound effect is so cool. Let's just pause it. Let's just, let's just spam moons in. Now we'll, um, we'll put, more, put even more in. Let's just go all out on this. So we'll put a bunch in. Now hit play. So That is so cool. That is really cool. I know it's just a sound effect and all, but that just sounds so cool. Is it just me? Or does that sound effect just sound so awesome? That is cool. That is, that is a cool sound effect. Yeah, there we go, guys. So, hidden sound effect I didn't know about. Just discovered. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fragments flying around here. So, yeah. Even with this, one of these little fragments that got tossed out. Pretend this was Saturn again. One of these could be that moon we were just talking about. Peggy. One of these could become Peggy. And be a hidden object in the rings only discovered recently. So, yeah, there we go, guys. There's, there's all that done. So, like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, like, and there's also a live stream tomorrow. If you've got any theories on what this object could be, or you want to find out more, like I said, just Google it, and yeah, you should be good. But yeah, that is that for this video, guys. So hopefully I'll see you in the live stream tomorrow, um, and that's that. So yeah, goodbye.